Hello, Lolas. Welcome to my channel. Guys, make sure that you are subscribed to this channel. If you are not, go ahead and smash that red subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up and leave me a comment below. Also, guys, make sure you join the chat box. If you do not see the join button, it's probably because you're on an iPhone or a different type of cell phone. Click the link in the description bar and that should take you to where you should be able to join for the chatterbox. It's a channel ma membership which is $1.99. You do have to be at least 18 years old to join. Now today's video I am going to, look at me sounding all commercialized. Girl what? I have to always smell this bottle because I had one that had cologne in it before. But this is just water. Um, he's been laying down so his head, he has sparsely rooted hair so and it's a light color, so on camera it may look a little as if like he was missing hair. But it's very, very thin. That's the way it was rooted in the back. And so I am going to spray it a little bit and have it lay down. But in the meantime, just being dry. You see I, a difference I made when it was just like, you know pushed all every which way um you can when you do that and make it look like he's missing hair but if you brush it down you'll see he still has all his little hair from since he came which has been about two years now um so i a lot of people been asking me about you know, they're expecting their first silicone baby or full body silicone baby. And they're like, what do I need? What do I need? Well, guys, I am going to give you the great solution. The great answer of what all you need for your precious little silicone baby. And you guys are going to love this. What you need is absolutely nothing, really. <laughs> okay, let me break that down. Um... I know a lot of people are overly dramatic about, oh, you need this, you need that, make sure you have this and that. Um, for the most part, most people now are matting to the point where you really don't need to powder the babies. But if you must, and it's just something that you just want to do, because I know when I first got my first silicone baby, powdering was like the biggest thing. I wanted to sit there and brush the dolls. We used to, if you look back at our old videos, we used to powder the babies and stuff. That's what you always seen. Everybody powdering the babies. Now, everybody like, no, 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 put powder on it. If you must powder your baby, make sure you use 100% cornstarch powder, um, baby powder. I prefer to try not to use, like, all these different fragrances. But, you know, it's, it's I've been told it's not really going to hurt. Um, you know, Johnson & Johnson baby powder. But that's, you know, again, it depends on the artist. And as far as, like, you, I mean, you will, okay. So one of the things you would want to get is get you a very soft bristle baby brush for their hair because their hair is not able to be sealed, so they can come out. If you, um, most of the time, they're rooted deep enough and it doesn't come out like people make it seem like if you touch a baby with silicone hair, it's just going to fall out everywhere. That's not really necessarily the case in most most situations. Um, this one that I'm using is that 100% goat hair brush or, you know, something like that. Um, got it off of Amazon. Um, but I also use like a just a very fine brush. Also toothbrushes um, for the edges a lot of people use those make sure they are still very soft because you know some of y'all be using brillo pad like toothbrushes girl what <laughs> don't do that <laughs> your baby ain't gonna have no edges so you know you you want to do that if you like hand mitts and stuff like that you know those type things is things that i'll buy before the baby come like i'll buy a brush I'll buy a baby brush, baby comb, which I don't really use combs as much, but they're not bad if you got a head full of hair, then a wide tooth baby comb, um, which this little brush set came with a very good wide, um, wide one. Um, what else? 
So I'll do brush, you know, if you got diapers, especially if it's a drinking wet, you know, you want to get plenty of little diapers. I like the ones where the line changes and let you know that they're, you know, they're wet. Um, you want to have a place where they're going to sleep. If you got pets, um, definitely you want to have somewhere up high, somewhere that your pets are not going to be so that they don't get a hold of them. Um, <clears throat> That's, you know, that's essential when you, you know, you, with any of your dolls, silicone or your dolls, but mainly silicone, of course, because they're so expensive and you don't want to, you know, your cat or dog to be chewing up your silicone baby. That would be the worst. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to put him on this onesie first. So I'll put you on the onesie, onesie, but you know, yes, it's so bad. But yeah, so you, what else? Let me think of what else. Definitely, if you're a pacifier queen and you're excited about being able to use a full pacifier for these little munchkins, make sure you get you some cute pacifiers. Make sure they, I don't care how open the baby mouth is, how wide the baby mouth is, always still buy the very newborn nipple size, the smallest nipple size sizes that you can find um, so that you can prevent from splitting the mouth. Um, you can use baby powder on the nipple or um, a lot of us now are using like KY, uh, the KY jelly um, for their, you know, for their uh, pacifiers. What else? So really you don't really need anything. I particularly learn to shop after my babies come because, you know, especially if you didn't see it before it went. Because then you you won't really know what size they actually wear. If you know what size they wear and you, you know, got an idea of the skin tone they're going to be in and stuff like that, then you might be okay to shop. Because my whole thing was, you know, I would buy all this stuff and then it didn't look right on that particular baby body style or, um, or the color didn't really look good up against the skin tone. So I just started waiting till they get here. Now I am more of a baby baby type person. So, you know, I'm into more onesies and simple stuff. Some of you guys are a little bit more fancy than me. So, you know, you just don't want to go out and spend all this money on the, all these expensive outfits and then they don't really fit them unless you got other babies that will be able to, to wear them. Now, when you got a full body, girl, let me tell you the luxury, honey. Let me tell you, hunties, how you can really jazz it up, how you be feeling all special. Girl, let me tell you the best thing you can ever do. The, everybody that's a first time silicone mommy has to do is you have to get tank top onesies or if it's a girl spaghetti strap dress. Because you be so happy, girl, that you don't have to worry about the cloth show at you. You know what I do? You be like, eh. I can put my baby in anything I want so you definitely got to get at least one outfit like that that is my you know thing so mainly girl the real tea is is that you really don't need no more than what you do with your reborns but I don't know why people like to make it seem like this is something you know you gotta just really go all out because it's a silicone baby um after you not spent all that money Trust me, you might want to save for a minute and just, you know, enjoy the beauty of the actual doll itself. Try to just put that baby on a diaper and call it a day and save your coins back up that you don't spend to have it done. But then, you know, if you guys, some of y'all got, got, got endless fun. So if that is the case, then, you know, do what you do. But I just suggest that you wait till the baby come. To really shop but sometimes we need that that th that retail therapy to get us through that weight so i get that so what i would do is like buy different onesies and beds and swings and you know if it's my first and just depends on where i'm at with my collecting at that time is you know if i already had those essentials then you know or i wanted specifics then i would be selling old stuff and you know, bringing in new stuff that's specific for that baby that I'm expecting. Because the first is silicone. I, I will say it is very special when you've wanted a silicone for a very long time. 
and it's your first one i won't take away that from anyone but um you know we all know the price is so expensive you just don't want to put yourself over financially for you know your your new baby because when it gets there you want to be you know relaxed and 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 enjoy it and not feel the, sh the pressures of all the money that you spent you know what i mean so that is what my take is that's what you know i do when i'm expecting a silicone baby um you know if it's a very special baby and i already know the name and all that stuff you know i don't really do a lot of um personalized stuff with like the baby name on it and all that stuff i don't my babies share a lot of clothes so i don't really do a lot of that but i see a lot of people doing that now so if you want to do that you could probably you know get that stuff done and made so when it comes but the main thing is having somewhere for it to sleep make sure you have um a nice good soft brush um get you some baby powder just in case you might need it for the, the pacifier or your baby gets sticky and you want to powder it down a makeup very soft bristle makeup brush that doesn't shed a lot um you want to get that um giving your baby a bath you don't need johnson and johnson baby bath but if you insist i've been told a drop of that in their bath water in their bath water is okay but i would personally just rinse them off that's what i do with my babies i don't put soap anymore or anything i used to use the drop of um johnson and johnson but now i just rinse my babies off i don't put any soaps in their stuff um in their water and you don't want to bathe them every single week or every single day um once every few months is good you're basically just dusting them off in any type of you know anything that's you know collected on them dust or fuzzies or something like that you're going to get that excess off of them um puck just had a bath him and noah and puck has been here for like i said two years and he has only maybe had maybe three baths so you know and as you know as you've seen puck up close in many of his pictures you know puck is still all has all his paint all his hair he's still in very good condition and you see his little piggies and and stuff he's he's still very very like brand new if i if i wanted to sell him today or tomorrow they would be like getting a baby fresh out the box that would be like brand new like he just came from claire teller um so i don't you know you know, I just try to do the minimum with my babies, even though I do videos and stuff like that. You know, even sometimes, <clears throat> here's another tip for people that do YouTube. Um, if you want to, like, do bath videos for ratings and stuff like that, you can always save your bath videos and take clips, you know, from the old bath. Use, insert that as, you know, part of your day-to-day -day routine where you're not actually having to bathe the baby over again just for that, you know, footage. I've done that before as well. So, you know, it's little tricks like that that keep your babies in good condition, but yet please your your um, fans or subscribers. So, um, but past that, you know, just enjoy your baby. Don't Don't let people ruin it for you, scaring you to death, telling you you can't change them, you can't dress them. I dress my babies a lot when they first come so um like for instance when puck came he probably got dressed every single day um maybe every now and then he might have got dressed twice in in a day the first week or something because i wanted to see what he looked like in this or that um but after the first two weeks or so it kind of settled down and i just dress my babies as i feel like changing them because i enjoy them and what they're wearing and i'll let them stay in that or i like to just look at you know me, I mostly like to just look at my babies and just their um, diaper because I just admire the sculpting or the art of it. So that's just my tips and my 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 ideas um, right on on um, 
you know, your first, expecting your first silicone baby. So let me know in the comment section if you have any other requests or videos that you would like for me to discuss on this channel and I will be gladly to um, entertain the thoughts. Thank you guys for watching. Again, don't forget to subscribe. And to all my chatter queens, oh, it's coming up. We coming soon to our first official big live stream. So guys, if you're not joined, make sure I'm trying to give everybody time so we can, you know, everybody can come in on the same time. Do that. It's only $1.99. So don't miss out. We'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.